Have you noticed getting great responses from ChatGPT 5 feels different even though it's more powerful? ChatGPT is getting smarter, but your results may be getting worse, and I know exactly why. The entire platform has changed. But don't worry, I've uncovered 10 techniques that will completely transform your responses from basic to mind-blowing. Trust me, these aren't just random tips, they're actually straight from OpenAI's research team. If there is one skill you need to learn in this day and age, it is how to write a good prompt. Good prompts will make any AI model leaps and bounds more effective. Before we dive into the new features, let's get you prepared with the seven step prompt guide straight from OpenAI's team. Number one, give it a clear role. Maybe it's a travel expert, a marketing assistant, or a business coach. This simple framing helps the model prioritize what matters most to you. Number two, give it the exact task that you want it to perform. So instead of tell me about travel destinations in Canada, try research the top five travel destinations in Canada that offer both outdoor adventure and luxury accommodation with local dining recommendations. There is a very big difference between these two prompts. Number three, give it context. This could be in the form of documents, voice recordings, images, or just text. So for my travel example, I tell ChatGPT that I'm an adventure seeker who loves nature and local food, but I need reliable Wi-Fi. And I would also tell it to look out for tourist traps. Everybody travels differently and chat doesn't know your style yet. Number four, define the reasoning approach by telling it the exact steps it should take and in what order. It's kind of like giving someone GPS directions instead of just an address. You're going to get to your answer a lot faster and more reliably. Number five, give it rules or constraints so it knows what not to do. For example, you could say, don't include major cities or even something simple like, please don't add emojis. These constraints make your results a lot more focused. Number six, give it a stop condition so you can tell it exactly what done looks like. You could say, continue generating ideas until you have 10 viable options, or you could say, stop once you've provided examples for each categories. You're basically telling it when to give you the output. And of course, number seven, make sure to explain the output style that you want. This could be something like, give me an organized chart with the main reasons why each destination is a good option. You can also use something called XML tags to give your prompts more structure. So here's what an XML tag looks like. Now test and refine until the output is exactly what you want it to be. If you're still confused in any way about building prompts, honestly, just get ChatGPT to build out your prompt in this structure. Role, task, context, reasoning, rules, a stop condition, and an output style. Okay, here's a hack to make ChatGPT 5 even smarter. It actually helps it tap into higher reasoning powers. So you can use something called trigger words in your prompts. This is words and statements like think deeply, double check your work, or be extremely thorough. They all act as signals and they encourage GPT-5 to use its more advanced reasoning capabilities, which can lead to more accurate and reliable results, especially for any high risk tasks. My answers have been 10 times better using these statements in my prompts. Now, most of us have used ChatGPT as some kind of coach, whether that's for relationships, business, health, cleaning, or honestly anything. But did you know that ChatGPT can actually coach itself? Here's how to do it. Ask Chat to create a rubric. Basically a checklist of rules, such as keep it simple, clear, or fifth grade level. After it writes its first draft, have the AI score itself against that checklist and point out any gaps. This multi-step process makes the outputs come out a lot more clear and reliable. It's kind of like the difference between somebody checking their work two to five times and someone just trusting the first draft. Make sure to tell it what to look for and ask it to rewrite after critiquing and repeat until it feels right. Another example for a rubric would be make all of your writing easy to read with no jargon and keep the tone relevant for young adults aged 18 to 30. No lists or emojis, only paragraphs. And give each output you make a score from one to 10 and then rewrite until you're hitting at least nine out of 10 across the board. You will be getting the responses you want a lot quicker this way. OpenAI says GPT-5 is a major leap forward when it comes to coding and agentic tasks. It creates more complete usable code and is a lot better at debugging than the prior models. You can actually build out full stack apps apps in one shot rather than continuously recoding it. And I can 100% confidently say that the coding is way better and much more advanced than any previous model that I've used. It got my prompts immediately
neatly and made an app exactly how I wanted in the first go. So how can you get the most out of this new coding model? You can ask GPT-5 to build a small SaaS locally. You could do something like an interactive dashboard that helps you evaluate businesses or a story plot generator for social media. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman himself referred to this process as software on demand. In order to test out your app inside of ChatGPT, get it to make the tool in HTML format. This way you can preview it and use it right in the app. Guys, you can get super creative here. You can create any SaaS you want without spending any money on a developer which was unheard of years ago. For anybody wondering, SaaS stands for software as a service. Some tools may need outside integration. So if that's the case for the platform that you're making, some good apps for integration are make.com and N88. And if you wanna learn more about how to create a SaaS company, I've actually made a video that you can watch after this one by clicking on this card right here. ChatGPT now has agent mode. You can use persistent prompts and clear stop conditions to make ChatGPT work autonomously on complex multi-step tasks. Here's how it works. Turn on agent mode and add a persistent prompt. Say something like, you are an agent. Keep going until you figure out which AI tool would save my company the most time. Compare features, pricing, and give me the top three recommendations. Don't stop until the answer is completely resolved. Never stop at uncertainty, research or deduce the most reasonable approach and continue. GPT-5 will work through entire complex workflows without constantly asking you for clarification, making it really nice for research, analysis, and any multi-step problem solving. The answer will take a lot longer though, so make sure to give it the time it needs. Chat has always been a good writing partner, but the main problem that I found is that the tone of writing was constantly the same. So I actually love to use GPTs from the app market like Monday because it would actually write to me in a more sarcastic human tone. But now, you can choose the tone that you want ChatGPT to speak to you in. GPT-5 can be really great for writers because it deeply understands characters' emotions and motivations, but it can also handle research and scientific details really well, which means it can switch fluidly between reasoning, web search, and multimodal tools, keeping you in creative flow mode. Now, let's talk about changing the tone of writing in ChatGPT. First off, if you prefer older ChatGPT models, you can actually switch between them, going from friendlier or more precise. If you go into settings and click personalization, you can actually personalize your ChatGPT with a specific tone, style, and even information about you. You can choose between default, cynic, robot, listener, and nerd, but you can actually give it whatever style and tone you want here in the chat box. Okay, let's get it to write a LinkedIn post about marketing tips for e-commerce brands in the winning LinkedIn format. It should be writing in the tone that you gave it. And again, we always wanted to double check its work. Do you wish you could predict the future? Well, you can't, I'm sorry, but ChatGPT5 can. Well, almost. It can reason through and find the most likely scenarios or outcomes using current data. So to do this, include Think Deeply and Search in your prompts and ask it to outline multiple possible outcomes, list the assumptions behind them, and highlight risks or confidence levels. It will then hand you many research reports on things like business bets and which ones are worth it or potential outcomes of a scientific experiment. It's kind of like a genie in the bottle, but in your phone. It gives you insider reports that you can use for strategic planning, which can really reduce risks and help you make better life decisions. ChatGPT's voice has been upgraded to sound more natural. Hey, what's up? Feel free to ask me about anything that's on your mind. And expressive. Hello, it's lovely to meet you. So you can actually use it alongside the study mode feature to get step-by-step -step help on any topic. It can quiz you, break down information, and guide you through explanations instead of just giving you an answer. You can even practice languages through spoken conversations or role play. You can choose from nine voices, set your language, and even use voice with custom GPTs. You can also record and upload conversations for ChatGPT to analyze using the little record button in the bottom right next to the text bar. Initially rolling out to pro users, ChatGPT5 is able to integrate directly with Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Contacts, making it possible for you to automate and manage your daily life. This feature will let GPT5 pull information from your Google workspace. You can ask it to plan your schedule, find time for activities, find unread important emails, or even create packing lists based on your future plans. Now, as Kieran Carr, co-founder and CEO of Girl Dreamer said, jargon is one of the biggest barriers to accessibility. 
The world is full of jargon and complex words that the average person cannot understand. And we have to deal with this kind of thing all the time, from doctor reports to legal contracts to fine print or even ingredients in our food. GPT-5 can take super complicated info, like a medical report full of things you don't understand, and break it down into plain English for you. I actually recently used this for a medical report, and it was incredibly helpful. I did not understand it at all until ChatGPT broke it down for me. Chat can also lay out the pros, cons, risks, and benefits for important decisions. Having somebody break down complex scenarios and having proper context can be super helpful when you're making big life decisions. GPT-5 gives you clearer explanations than you would usually get with fewer errors, so you can actually understand what is going on. Another great way to use this is breaking down data from your Shopify store, especially things that you don't fully understand. Shopify can actually integrate with thousands of AI tools, and I even have a whole video on how to build out AI agents for Shopify using OpenAI. You can check that out right here. If you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, I've actually linked a free trial down below. Okay, we have to mention GPT-5's massive context window. It has a total context window of 400,000 tokens in the API, meaning it can keep track of entire books, long research papers, or big code bases without losing the thread. This expanded memory makes working with large data so much smoother than with previous models. There you have it, 10 hacks to make ChatGPT-5 work harder for you and get more done. Let us know in the comments which feature you are most excited to play with. I'm Charisma Shalouakina with Learn with Shopify, and if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on our weekly videos on all things business. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!